Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. On this Pentecost Sunday, we welcome you to worship with us today, and we are grateful that you are joining us across all space and time, celebrating the work of our risen Lord in this day of Pentecost celebration as the Holy Spirit came to that church. We welcome you today. We um, want to share a couple announcements. Our re-entry team will be having its initial meeting tomorrow evening. We'll be looking at our work together and considering how we may begin to reopen for small groups and worship services and all of our in-person ministries, whether it's in our parking lot or in the building. But please continue to keep that team in your prayers as we begin our work together tomorrow evening. Uh, next Sunday's worship will be at 9 a.m. in English and also at 12.30 in African languages. For our 9 o'clock service, I do want to let you know that this will be a pre-recorded service that's put together by our bishop of the Iowa Annual Conference and her cabinet. This was created for churches to allow our clergy to take short bits of renewal leave during this pandemic time, and it was hoped that this service would be uh, aired during the Easter season, but we uh, didn't want to interrupt our Grateful Life series, so we have held on to this very special service, and we will be offering it next Sunday, June 7th at 9 a.m. We want to also mention that next Sunday we'll be having a time for a special offering supporting in-gathering. In-gathering will be supporting backpacks to be giving to many of our children here, as well as personal dignity kits. Uh, Continue to read the details about our special offerings in your worship materials and on our website. We have Vacation Bible School through a virtual online way, and we do want children and families to register by June 15th, so be sure you read the details about that. Our weekday spiritual formation op opportunities will continue online. We'll be concluding our Grateful Life small group series this Wednesday night. It's been a wonderful gathering, and we are grateful for all of you who have participated in Habits of gratefulness. And one update about our Share Love, Share Hope, Share Life invitation that we want to make a powerful impact for God's good in this kingdom, in this world, in this community. We have a goal of $100,000 to make a significant difference, and I'm excited to share that we have received gifts of $31,000. $745 to this date. Thank you so much for the generosity of all of you that have participated so far. We continue to extend that invitation for the weeks to come. 
Now, let us continue with this very special All Together Worship Sunday in which we gather with African voices, English voices, and you. We welcome Pastor Jonathan and Pastor Daniel and Fidel, who is our African Choir Director, and Ben Owen, who leads our English Sanctuary Choir. And together with all of you, we embrace God's Spirit that calls us together as God's children. Praise the Lord. Bon you will serve the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord His name. Let the Lord's name be blessed from now until forever from now. From sunrise to sunset, let the Lord's name be praised. The Lord is higher over all the nations. God's glory is higher than the skies. Who could possibly compare the Lord our God? Mungu ni zaidi ya mataifa na jina lake itaendelea kuabudiwa na yeye ndo mwenye anaweza kubadili matengenezo yote. God rules from on high. Shauri ya Mungu kutoka juu mbinguni. He has come down to even see heaven and earth. Amekuja duniani kutoka mbinguni kuangalia vile dunia ilivyo. God lifts up the poor from the dirt and raises up the needy from the garbage pile. Na Mungu anamuinua mtu yatima kutoka kutoka udongo mpaka kumfanya awe tajiri. To seat them with leaders na kufanya yeye akae na washauri with the leaders of his own people na viongozi wa wake god nest the once barren woman at home na mungu ametembelea wanawake nyumbani now a joyful mother with children na hivi kuko na ushauri mzuri nyumbani na watoto praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe and we ask we invite you to join with us as we sing hymn number 101 from all that dwell below the st- the skies stanzas 1 through 4 The Lord be with you. Mungu awe nanyi. 
Let us pray. Tuombe. Almighty God, Mungu Baba, on this day you opened the way of eternal life. Kwa siku hii umefungua njia ya uzima to every last and the national. Kwa kila nchi yoyote by the promised gift of your holy spirit kwa ahadi uliyotupa na roho mtakatifu share the abroad this gift throughout the world tunaomba ahadi hii iendelee kujaa duniani kote by the, pre- the preaching of the gospel kwa kuendelea kuhubiri neno lake that it may may reach to the ends of the earth na neno liendelee kufika mpaka upande wote wa dunia through Jesus Christ our Lord kwa jina la Yesu Kristo who lives and reigns with you na anaishi nanyi nyote in the unity of the holy spirit kwa umoja wa roho mtakatifu one god mungu mmoja forever and ever milele na milele amen 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 We have our first scripture reading today from the book of Acts and we'll be reading from the second chapter of Acts uh, an abbreviated reading of the Pentecost story chapter 2 verses 1 through uh <laughs> where do we want to go we want to go to um chapter we want to go through 13 13 all right When Pentecost day arrived, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound from heaven, like the howling of a fierce wind, filled the entire house where they were sitting. And they saw what seemed to be individual flames of fire alighting on each one of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they began to speak in other languages as the Spirit enabled them to speak. There were pious Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. When they heard this sound a crowd gathered. They were mystified because everyone heard them speaking in their native languages. They were surprised and amazed saying, "Look, aren't all the people who are speaking Galileans, every one of them? How then can they each each of us hear them speaking in our native language?" and i will pause right there verses 1 through 8 1 through 8 okay hata ilipotimia siku ya pentecost walikuwako wote mahali pamoja kukaja ghafla kutoka mbinguni uvumi kama uvumi wa upepo wa nguvu ukienda kasi ukajaza nyumba yote waliokuwa wameketi kuka wakatokea ndimi zilizogawanyika kama ndimi za moto uliowaka uliokalia kila mmoja wao wote wakajazwa roho mtakatifu wakaanza kusema kwa lugha nyingine kama roho aliyowajaza aliyowajalia kutamuka na walikuwako Yerusalemu wayahudi wa wakikaa watu wata, watu waua watu wa kila taifa nchini ya mbinguni basi sauti hii iliposikiwa makutano walikutanika wakashi, wakashikwa na nafadha kwa kuwa kila mmoja aliwasikia wakisema kwa lugha yake mwenyewe wakashanga wote wakatajabu waka wakiambiana tazama hawa wote wasemao si wa Galilaya imekuwaje basi sisi tukisikia kila mtu lugha yetu tuliyozaliwa nayo na hilo nilio, ndilo neno la Mungu kwa wateule wa Mungu And our gospel lesson today comes from the gospel according to John verse uh, chapter 7 verse 37 through 39. On the last and most important day of the festival, Jesus stood up and shouted, "All who are thirsty should come to me. All who believe in me should drink. 
As the scripture said concerning me, rivers of living water will flow out from within him. Jesus said this concerning the Spirit. Those who believed in him would soon receive the Spirit, but they had not received the Spirit yet, since Jesus had not yet been glorified. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. And Pastor Daniel will read. Yeah, neno la Mungu tunao soma leo uh, ni ni ujumbe kutoka kitabu cha Yohana mtakatifu sura ya saba, mstari wa sorry yes mstari wa 37 hadi 39 tutasoma katika jina la Yesu hata siku ya mwisho siku ile kubwa ya siku kuu Yesu akasimama akapaza sauti yake akisema mtu akiona kiu na aje kwangu anywe anina aniaminie mimi kama vile maandiko yalivyoenena mito ya maji yaliyo hai itatoka ndani yake na neno hilo alisema katika bahari ya roho ambaye wale wa muaminio watampokea baadaye kwa maana roho alikuwa hajakoa sababu Yesu alikuwa hajatukuzwa na hilo ndilo neno la Mungu kwa wateule wa Bwana amen I'm going to invite Pastor Daniel to, to come right on back as he uh, gathers his notes, but um, we don't always have services all together, and we haven't heard from Pastor Daniel for a little while at our nine o'clock service, and uh, so we've missed having you with us. But what's going to happen right now is we're going to have three preachers, and um, I'm just curious how many people are thinking about leaving our feet at this moment, but don't, please don't. Um, we're just going to speak very briefly, and we're going to answer one question. I'll let you catch up here in just a moment. Um, we're going to answer one question. Where do we see the Holy Spirit at work right now? Um, that's, I think, a question that matters for all of us. And so we're not offering three sermons, but we're each going to try and answer that question. So if you just wanted to mention, we're addressing the question, where is the Holy Spirit working now? kwa kila mtu hilo ni swali la kila mtu anayeweza kujiuliza ah, the holy spirit we are talking about today had been uh, preferred long before jesus was born by the prophet joel he said after that i will pour out my spirit upon everyone your sons and your daughters will profess your old men will dream dreams and your young men will see visions na roho mtakatifu tunayoongelea kwa siku ya leo ni kwamba eh, amekuwa nasi na ataendelea kuwa nasi kila wakati na tutakapomuhitaji lazima eh, neno la Mungu linasema kwamba roho mtakatifu atakuwa nasi hata vizazi vyenu hata watoto na vitukuu wataendelea kunena kwa lugha kupitia roho mtakatifu God performs his works different from human expectations. I ask you today to know that there are, there are signs showing that the Holy Spirit has lives in men. When Jesus was baptized by immersion uh, him in the waters of the Jordan, God sent down the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove on his shoulder Mungu hufanya kazi zake tofauti kwa matarajio eh, kibinadamu na kuhimiza leo ujue kuwa una ishara kuna ishara zinazoonyesha kuwa wa Roho Mtakatifu uh, ameisha ndani ya mwanadamu katika ameisha ndani ya mwanadamu wakati Yesu alibatizwa kwa kutumia nda, uh, kuti, kumtia ndani ya mja Yordani Mungu alimteremsha uh, Roho Mtakatifu katika mfumo wa njia begani mwake and uh, and the holy spirit who was sent to baptize the disciples has came has come again like a weird whirlwind in the form of fire remember that 
when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit came in the form of the dove. When Jesus' disciples were baptized, the Holy Spirit came like a flame of fire and was stood uh, over their heads without burning. And then he made them from and uh, without any fear. Na Roho Mtakatifu aliyetuma kubatiza, uh, kubatiza wanafunzi amekuja tena kama dhuruba katika mfumo wa, wa, wa mto wa moto. Kumbuka kwamba Yesu alipobatizwa Roho Mtakatifu alifika katika fomu ya njiwa. Wakati uh, wanafunzi wa Yesu walibatizwa Roho Mtakatifu alifika kama mwali wa moto na akasimama juu ya vichwa vyao bila kuwaka na kisha anawafanya kuwa imara na bila uoga wowote Now when we are baptized we should not expect to see the dove on the symbol of the fiery flame but for people who have been baptized in the Holy Spirit we will recognize them by the, the flowing sands Sasa tunapobatizwa upaswi kutarajia kuona njiwa au ishara ya mwali wa moto lakini kwa watu ambao wamebatizwa kwa roho mtakatifu tutatambua kwa ishara zifuatazo Holy Spirit functions as a fruit producer in our lives when he in dwells in us he began to walk of harvesting his fruit in our lives love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and the self control Roho mtakatifu hufanya kazi kama mzalishaji wa, mtu, wa matunda kati ya maisha yetu wakati anakaa ndani yetu anakaa kazi an, anaanza kazi ya kuvuna matunda yake katika maisha yetu upendo furaha amani uvumilivu fadhili wema uaminifu upole na kujitawala the knowledge that the whole spirit of God has taken up residence in our lives that he performs all these miracles functions that he dwells with us forever and that then and that he will never leave or suck, suck us is a, is a cause for great joy and comfort i ask you to thank God for this precious gift the Holy Spirit and his work in our lives. Ujuzi wa Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu amekaa katika maisha yetu kwamba yeye ufanya kazi hizi na miujiza kwamba yeye hukaa nasi milele na kwamba hatawahi kutuacha au kutuacha kamwe ni sababu ya kufuraha kufurahi kubwa na, na faraja ninakuomba umshukuru Mungu kwa wa, 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 zawadi hii ya thamani roho mtakatifu na kazi yake katika maisha yetu Thank you Pastor Daniel Daniel This is a joy to share this this time of reflection together on this all together Sunday on the day of Pentecost, it was all who were speaking were heard. Katika siku ya Pentecoste, kila mtu alikuwa anasikia, wenye alikuwa anaongea, alikuwa anasikika. And they were speaking and they heard as in their native language declaring the mighty works of God. Walipokuwa wanaongea, walikuwa wanasikia pia na kusikika katika lugha zao zile walizozaliwa nazo. And I think God's spirit still is at work and stirs us when we begin to hear one another's languages. Na Roho Mtakatifu anao anavoongea na mtu lazima kila mtu anaelewa pia na kuelewa lugha ya mwenzake anavoongea. God's spirit is at work in a place like St Paul's. Roho Mtakatifu leo yupo kazini katika kanisa hili la St Paul. Where we're nurturing our all including identity this place of many cultures. Na tutaendelea kumshukuru na na kuendelea kumtukuza wakati tupo katika kanisa hili la mataifa tofauti. And beyond Kurundi and French and Swahili and English 
we're trying to learn the language of one another's lives na tunapoongea kirundi kifaransa kiswahili na kiingereza kote tunaendelea kumwabudu mungu kwa lugha hizo and it is difficult sometimes mara nyingine inakuwa ni ngumu begins before we're even born with society's differences that that begin to form us at early years of life. Na tulipoanza labda kabla hata kabla ya kuzaliwa sisi imekuwa ni ngumu tena kuelewana kwa lugha. In our parents care and their health and their resources. Na wakati wazazi wetu wanazaliwa na pale makampuni tofauti yanavyozaliwa. And from histories ancient and more recent. Na kutokana na vile kipindi cha zamani mpaka sasa hivi. And in economic systems that are with practices and norms that sometimes find themselves in sin. Na wakati wakati mwingine uchumi unavopanda na kushuka watu lazima waelewane. And so we begin to learn and tell ourselves truths from our very first steps. Na tunaendelea tena kujikumbusha na ku na kusema vile tunavyofikiri observing how people treat one another na kujua namna tunaweza kusaidizana sote kwa pamoja watching how maybe a small caterpillar that's crawling across the sidewalk is either squashed or picked up and set free na kuongea ukiangalia kama kadudu kadogo kanavotambaa ni kwamba kuna wakati mwingine wanaweza kakanyaga wakati mwingine wakakasaidia na kufika pale kanakoelekea and sometimes we are hurt and we are left with wounds unhealed. Muda mwingine tuna tunaumia na muda mwingine tunabaki na vidonda. We name racism today as a sin that permeates our broken lives and our hearts language as we're fam- formed for life and for love. Leo hii kama watu wanapoongea kuhusu mafarakano ya watu weusi na, na weupe sasa hivi ni, ni janga tupu. So where do I see God's spirit at work today? Leo namkuta wapi Roho Mtakatifu kazini leo? I approach this question with great humility for my mind is not that of God. Na uweza nikaongea nikauliza hili swala lakini lakini ni mwangu nikawa na lengo fulani. It would be arrogant to, for me to claim to know all of these things. And yet we know God's nature. Lakini tunajua nini Yesu anachokitaji Mungu. We know God as creator, as truth and love. Tunamjua power and grace. Tunamjua Mungu kama muumbaji wa nchi wa mbingu na nchi na anatupenda na anaendelea kutulinda. And so when we can hear each other as was heard at Pentecost, we see God's spirit at work. Na kama tunaweza kuelewana kama vile walivyoelewana kipindi siku ya Pentecost na tunaweza kuelewana vizuri sana. And in recent days of the pandemic, the spirit has called us with time to recognize and realize and cherish our common humanity. Na wakati huu na kipindi hichi ambacho ni kipindi kigumu sana watu tunaitwa ili tuendelee kuelewana vizuri. In sickness and in health. Na wakati tunaumwa na wakati tuko na afya nzuri. For the enormity of what we do share in common in life in love and in death na wakati tunavochangia vitu tofauti wakati tukiwa tunapendana na wakati ambao tunaelewana vizuri is reason enough to hear despite any of our barriers ni vizuri sana kusikia neno Mungu analotuambia na tuendelee kulifuata na kuelewana vizuri and so more than a face mask of separation this week racial profiling violence and murder speaks not of god's spirit ukiachana na mambo ya kuvaa barakoa kuna shida nyingi za uwaji uliotokea wiki hii na watu wanaendelea kuwa na tafaruku tofauti but of our long history of not hearing one another as children of god lakini watu wengi inakuwa ni shida kuelewana kama watoto wa mungu the spirit is working where healthy relationships are prioritized lakini roho mtakatifu anaendelea kuongea na anaendelea kufanya kazi kama ilivyoagizwa in confession in repentance to hear love speaking uh, wakati wa kutubu na wakati wa kungama dhambi na kusikia neno um, uh, roho mtakatifu anavyoongea and i've also seen god's spirit at work na naona ile nani roho mtakatifu pale kazini reminding us of our relationship with nature and all of creation 
Nikitukumbusha kwamba ni vizuri tukapendana sote kwa pamoja nchi tofauti, mataifa tofauti. How stunning and true when our systems of production and manufacturing and transportation have temporarily slowed during this pandemic that creation has responded anew. Na sasa hivi tunaona kwamba makampuni mengi yalikuwa yamefungwa sasa hivi yanaanza kupanda kidogo kidogo tofauti na miezi miwili mitatu iliyopita. It is spoke loudly of the effects of our human actions upon the beauty of the earth. Na ni kwamba Roho Mtakatifu ameongea na watu ili wapate kujikinga vizuri. In its flourishing and its floundering. Na kuendelea kufanya kazi vizuri sana. We are interconnected to the earth as we are interconnected to one another. Na tuko kabisa karibu na dunia na kama kama vile tulivyo karibu na ndugu. The spirit is working when the language of love pours out. Roho Mtakatifu bado anafanya kazi wakati lugha yenyewe bado inafanya kazi. Love our native language come Holy Spirit. Manake kwamba upendo tuliokuwa nayo ni upendo ambao unatukusanya sote kwa pamoja. Amen. Amen. Where is God's spirit working right now? Uh, Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu tuna yupo wapi anafanya kazi wapi sasa hivi? Where can we feel the breeze of God's breath? Unaweza kusikia wapi unaweza kusikia ule nani mwemko wa Mungu? Honestly, I thought that would be an easy question to answer today. Ningejua kwamba hilo ni swali nzuri na tofauti kabisa rahisi sana leo. But I've been watching the world. Lakini nimeona dunia kabisa hizi siku. And instead of life giving breath, kuliko uzima kutoa kupumua, I see white supremacy. Na naona shida tofauti kwa watu tofauti. Systemically stealing breath manake kwamba ku, kuiba upumzi The video that we saw from an iPhone in Minneapolis Na ile eh, ile picha tuliyoiona kwenye ile iPhone pale Minneapolis calls forth biblical imagery for me Na inani inaniita kuingia katika maandiko kwangu mimi In Genesis before God breathed into the human Na katika kitabu cha mwanzo Mungu alivyoweka pumzi kwa mwanadamu there was a lifeless form laying on the ground. Manake kuna uzima uliotengenezwa. I see lifeless clay. Naona uzima pale ulivotengenezwa. When I hear George Floyd say I can't breathe. Nilivosikia George Floyd alikuwa anasema kwamba siwezi kupumua. And he wasn't the first to have his breath stolen from him either. Mara kwanza alikuwa bado hajaibiwa pumzi. I see with Ezekiel a valley full of bones that we have left. Na naona kabisa nani shida tofauti na mifupa ikiwa natambaa. That's easy for me to see, but where is God's spirit working? Hiyo ni rahisi kwamba kwangu mimi naweza nikaona je, Roho Mtakatifu anafanya kazi wapi? That continues to be unclear for me. Na kwangu bado sijaona kabisa picha nzuri. And yet I I have to remember the story of scripture. Na natakia, natakia kukumbuka na ni, is, historia moja the lifeless clay formed human did have divine breath breathed into Mara, him kwa katika hiyo histori, historia kwamba kuna mtu ambaye ameweka pumzi pale na akaanza kupumua and god did seem to believe and have the power to breathe life into the dry bones in that valley na Mungu amefanya alifanya kabisa jitihada za kufanya mifupa yaanze kupumua tena isimame na itambaye. And in the midst of injustice and exclusion. Wakati tunahitaji tunaita, eh, watu wote tuwe na tuwe na, na haki zote kwa pamoja. God breathed upon a people who were gathered in an upper room. Mungu amewapumulia watu ambao walikuwa wamekusanyika wame kwa pamoja. But breath continues to be a difficult topic for us today. Lakini pumzi ndio inaendelea kuwa shida kwa kila mwanadamu leo kwa siku hii leo. I can't breathe has become a rallying cry for oppressed people. Siwezi kupumua leo hii ndio limekuwa neno kwa kila mwanadamu. While many more breathe under the power of a respirator. Manake kuna wengine wengine wanapumulia wanatumia mashine kupumua. And others sit with bated breath fearful longing for something better 
Manake kwamba kuna watu wengine bado wanajitahidi wana ili wapumue vizuri ili mapafu yao waendelee kuwa vizuri. Where is God's spirit working? Roho Mtakatifu anafanya kazi wapi? If the Bible has anything to teach us. Na kama Biblia ina kitu cha kutufundisha. It might tell us today God's spirit works whenever people struggle for breath. Inaweza kutuambia kwamba Roho Mtakatifu anafanya kazi wakati mwanadamu anacheseka. I don't know how that looks in this time. Sijui inaonekanaje kwa kipindi hichi. But I know what it looks like when the spirit is working. Lakini inaonekana kwamba Roho Mtakatifu anafanya kazi. When our shared way of life serves all people. Uh, hatutaki kukusanya na kutaka kuambia kwamba eh, maisha ya kila mwanadamu yanaanzishwa yana, hivi. When everybody has enough. Wakati kila mwanadamu ameshapata jukumu lake. When all voices are heard. Na kwa wakati masauti, sauti zetu zimeshasikika. When black lives matter. Wakati eh, wa, uzima wa mwanadamu mweusi unatakiwa kuzingatiwa. When all are inspired with divine breath. Na sote tunaitiwa ili tuendelee kuwa kupumua vizuri. That's the message of Pentecost. Na hii ndo ndo uundo ushauri na neno niloleta kwa siku ya Pentecost. And it is the need of this day. Na hicho ndo tunachokihitaji kwa siku hii ya leo. Amen. What a what a joy to have uh, Ben and Fidel sharing in our music leadership today on this Pentecost Sunday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Asante sana kwa siku hii leo mliotusaidia kwa kipindi cha Pentecost. Yeah, yeah. So we want to name um, people and places in our prayer life today as we continue our our time of worship here. Um, first of all, we want to name the joy of a, a wedding that happened here with Pastor Jonathan officiating uh, for Tracy McGee and Joshua Labar. Oh, what a blessing this was to enter into a time of new relationship through the ministries here and God's blessings yesterday. We want to pray for those that have uh, health concerns. Many of you are aware of those in your family and friendships that uh, you want to lift in prayer. We name Dennis O'Donnell, who is Barbara Dove's cousin, Vestina Batumi, Jenny Yarney, and we pray for all communities that are in pain today, for the wounds that are 
still festering and for God's spirit to be about the work of healing, of naming, of reconciliation. We pray for all people and places in pain today. Today we are going to uh, practice something that is similar to communion. We're going to have a love feast. And so I will invite um, our pastor to join me here as we, um, or Pastor Daniel, I would say, and Fidel as um, doing a wonderful job on all of our translating as so, we invite you to participate in love feast. Nitamwalika Pastor Daniel na Fidel ili tuendele tuone kama tunaweza kuchangia chakula hiki kizuri. Some of you may have seen in the um, materials an invitation to find something to eat as part of this worship service and to find something to drink. So we've prepared some for ourselves. We invite you to find a beverage and to find something to eat as we invite you into this place of worship. Na kwa nyote mmeshapata kile kizuri chakula na tunavowaalika kuendelea kuona chakula kizuri na tutakichangia kwa pamoja na nyie pia. Christians from the very beginning na uh, wa Kristo kutoka kuanzia mwanzo knew the importance of eating with one another. Walijua namna vizuri kama ni kuchangia pamoja. They learned the importance of shared meals and shared tables. Wamejua kizuri kilichomo namna kuchangia. From Jesus as much of his ministry took place over a shared meal. Na kama vile Yesu alivyofanya kipindi cha nyuma na kufanya kuchangia na wengine. So at a table he taught hospitality. Katika meza ametufundisha namna kukaribisha wageni. And here he taught humility. Na ametufundisha utu. And here he taught us to serve. Na ametufundisha kusaidia watu. And here he taught us to love our enemies. Na ametufundisha kufanya kupenda wanaotutukia. And here he taught us to place a setting for the hungry. Na ametufundisha tunavyoweza kusaidia wale wanaokuwa na njaa. Throughout church's history, na kama vile eh, historia ya kanisa letu, shared meals have been an important part of our life together. Kuchangia kwa pamoja imekuwa ni kitu cha muhimu sana. And they hold a very special place among Methodists. Na imechukua nafasi nzuri sana hapa kwenye kanisa la Methodist. When John Wesley crossed the seas and came to Georgia to do missionary work. Wakati eh, John Wesley alivyo uh, avuingia pale Georgia kufanya mish, kuwa kwenye mission. He encountered the Moravians, a group of German Christians. Na amekutana na uh, kundi la watu kutoka German wa Kristo. And they taught him the importance of love feasts. Wame, wame na na, na Meals where kindred believers na wale wote wanao, wanao na kuabudu Mungu would share food, prayer, conversation and hymns. Walikuwa wanachangia chakula, ma, ma, maombi na ku, maongezi na, na nyimbo. And so Wesley took what he learned from the Moravians. Na hapo sasa hicho ndo kitu ambacho Wesley amejifunza. And it became a significant part of the growing Methodist movement. Na imekuwa ni ni kitu kizuri sana kwa watu wana Methodist. And so in this time when we can't all gather around one table. Kwa wakati huu tunaweza kukusanyika katika meza moja. And when we can't all eat from one loaf which is Christ. Na kama hatuwezi kula kwa uh, upendo mmoja manaki kwamba Yesu Kristo. Nor share from one cup which is his life. Uh, na kama hatuwezi kuchangia kwenye kikombe kimoja manaki upendo wake. We are rekindling the love feast. Tunawasha na, na nani pale ili manaki kwamba tuna upendo. It's a virtual love feast that is. Manake ni, ni kuchangia kwa pamoja. So we hope that you have had time to gather something to drink and something to eat. Na na imani kwamba mmepata kitu chakula na na kunywa. Hopefully something you enjoy. Na kufanya na kitu kinachoweza kuwafurahisha. And feel free to share in the comments what you've brought to your table. Na unakaribishwa kuweka comment pale chini ulichokileta. 
And so let us now prepare our hearts and our tables for this virtual love feast. Christ our Lord invites you to pull up to the table. Recognizing every common table is a place for God's grace to be received. Na kujua kwamba hiyo eh, nani meza hii inakaribisha kila mtu yote na apate kupata chakula. So at your table and at all of our tables together. Na katika meza yako na meza zote we are all invited to participate. Na sote tunalikwa kuwa pale kwenye meza. And since tables are not made for eternity, but instead for fellowship among friends, we turn from our harmful ways and seek peace with one another. So let's join together and confess our sin before our gracious God. God of all nations, we praise you that in Christ, the barriers that have separated humanity are torn down. Yet, we confess our slowness, slow, slowness to open our hearts and minds to those of other lands, tongues, and races. Deliver us from the sins of fear and prejudice so that we may move toward the day when all are truly one in Jesus Christ. Amen. Mana Yubushawazi, Manu Giranez, Mana Yaniki Gong, when in Babas, Trajimberi Yongazao to Guhimbas. Trashima Kariwa to Gajaja Magingo to Libazima, Kandu Kabad to Koranirija Herahawe, to Shimiz Najao, Deka to Fugubiz Abga, Deka to Tigerizugiz Abga, Data Ugororoka, Isitara Kumena, Arikumana Wayara Kumena, Inachagituma, Kurea Yameza Mera, and the Tribu Kufano Kuzuka Kumana Wawa Yes Christo, Urimana in Babazi, Kandu Giranez, Wara do Chungue, Udukura Murufu, Udushira Mugingo. Ni wewe uri imana kandi ni wewe wadukijije ni wewe utugirira neza ijoro n'umurango reka tugushimira ibyo kuri imana y'imbabazi tubisabye twizera izina ryo watubambiwe Yesu Kristo umwana wawe amen amen did you share these words yes you shared those i will share yeah. them in english yeah. the lord is gracious and merciful and slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us remission of all sin, true repentance, and amendment of life, and the grace of consolation of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We invite you now to share signs of peace with one another in all the ways that you're able through the comment section and with those that you gather with in your home. in the invocation of God's blessing now of this meal, United Methodist Hymnal 621. Be present at our table, Lord. At all of our... i uh-huh. 
As we prepare to share in our virtual, virtual love feast, we eat in gratitude with the one who has called us to the table, and we eat in gratitude for one another. We eat remembering that we will be together again, and we eat in the certain hope of the time that we gather at Christ's heavenly banquet. As we invoke God's blessing upon this shared fellowship, let us sing our blessing that we have just done. We share now in the Lord's Prayer. Amen. Lord's Prayer. Yeah. Let's pray as Lord's Prayer. I pray in Swahili. And uh, I think you, you pray in English. Natuombe. Baba yetu liembinguni. Jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako uje mapenzi yako yatimizwe hapa duniani kama huko mbinguni utupe leo riziki yetu utusamehe makosa yetu kama sisi tunavyosamehe waliokukosea na usitutie majaribuni lakini tuokoe na uire mwovu kwa kuwa ufalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele Amen. Amen. So now we invite you to find something to eat and we will share in a table fellowship and let us eat remembering the one who lovingly calls each one of us to the table. that we are one in Christ. Let us drink remembering that we are one in Christ. And we sing together the Spirit of God found in the faith we sing, number 2117, stanzas one through three.
Friends, it has been nice to worship with you today. We would encourage you to look for the places where God's Spirit is working in this world. And with eyes open and hearts attuned, we will find God's Spirit wherever there are folks who struggle for breath. In the midst of our own fears, in the midst of our own worries, may we find the healing of breathing deeply. Go from this place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of our good God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Amen. Amina, mi lele na mi lele.